Now you're probably wondering who I am. I'm Alexandros and with me, yes, this time is also Andrea. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing musicality. Now there's many things what people uh, claim musicality to be. Oh, musicality is when you stop, when the music stops. Well, that's actually the beginner musicality thinking way. Yes, when the music stops, you stop. Uh, <laughs> or another type of musicality could be, what is the feeling of the song? Is it romantic? Is it Cuban? Does it have funk in it? So I can change my style to adapt to that song. But here we're going to learn what I like to prefer to call as the maximum musicality, which is dancing on the melody and the accents. So the best way to teach this is doing a small choreography with you, which is the Ran Can Gan song, which there are so many versions, but the original version was played by Tito Puente, the king of salsa, who had over 500 recorded albums. I mean, this guy was amazing. He was being begged from every Latin band to play in it. He was playing timbales, the xylophone. He was a beautiful maestro. And because of him, we have some amazing music. So Ran Gan Gan is one of them. This is a version of it, which at the end, it twists around towards the reggaeton. And we'll do it in an Afro rumba way so we can translate the music exactly. Now, before we get started, I know I'm talking a little bit here in the intro, but I want you guys to understand what we are doing. So when you do it again uh, by yourself, uh, you can DM me and I'll send you the music, no problem. And I have it in three different speeds, in slow 25%, 15% slow, and the regular speed. Today, if we do just the middle speed, we're happy. Okay, we don't want to do the perfect movement and the perfect alignment. We just want to move with the notes. Tin, tin, tin. Tin, 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 tin. We all learn to dance as a couple. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. That is a repetitive pattern. So let's say the claves are a repetitive pattern. Pa, 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 pa. So how long are you going to be translating pa, 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 pa? Yes? So this you won't follow. That's the two things that music is made of is rhythm. So that's repetitively instruments like the congas as well, the piano, all of them can be solo as well, not the claves. And then you have on top the melody, the singer's voice, the trumpets, the violin, or the mariba, the xylophone, so many things. I'm going to ask Andrea, she has a very good grasp of clave, and I can show you that this is a basic rhythm that all the songs in the world can be played on. Shoot me. Gimbara kumbara guba bim bam ba. Gimbara kumbara guba bim bam ba. Din dun din du din dun din din dun din du din dun da. That's it. Good. You see, she's playing a standard rhythm, and I could change from gimbara kumbara guba bim bam ba to another song. Din dun din du din dun din, and I can change to another song. Frère Jacques, frère Jacques. Yeah, so the melody is different than the rhythm. The rhythm instruments, that's another type of musicality. You learn their standard tumbao or the standard pattern, how it's called, and you learn to copy those as well before you enter the melody. A guitarist who is a good lead with the electric first learns how to play very good rhythm and changing chords so he has good rhythm in his ear so he can solo, just like a good singer. Okay, so enough of that. We have the Ran Gan Gan, we're going to get started. Instead of warm up, we're going to start very slow at the beginning so you can hear the music. I also put a little bit of drum in the intro. There we don't do nothing, so I have enough time to run back and do the choreography. Let's get started. All right, now we're going to try to keep a good distance, guys. I hope you can hear us. If there's any problem with the audio or with the video, please type in the comments and we'll try to see what we can do to rectify it. Okie dokie. So first we're going to open our arms up to our shoulders and push them back like a big seagull and push it forward and land them down. Now I'll do it on this way so you can see it's opening. Ta -rum, ta -rum. Of course it won't be that slow because the, there is a word after the drums. 
So forget in this lesson hearing a count from me. You will hear only the melody that we're going to be dancing with. We're going to ignore the congas, we're going to ignore the clavier or the standard rhythm instruments and be on the melody. So he goes, Vaca prenda! And we imitate that sound with Vaca prenda! Now there's something else in the melody. There's also accents. Accents are simply where, the, let's say, the pianist is hitting harder on those first notes, like the number one. Ding, dun, ding, dun, ding, dun, ding. Ding, dun, ding, dun, ding. Or the guitar is strum harder, or the singer compresses more. So the accent is what makes any type of song being the song that it is. So why am I saying this? Because here the guy goes, Vaga prenda. So he gives that accent on enda. So you don't go, Vaga prenda. You gotta hit that accent. Vaga prenda. All right? I told you I've been moving slow because I want to also explain to you how to do this by yourself slowly, slowly. Put some nice music that you like. Only listen the first two eights. Move away your mobile so you don't get distracted and try to choreograph it. It's going to be so much fun and then you'll be able to do it freestyle as well. So we go first. Vaca prenda. Then we start the ranganga with accents. Pam, pam, ram, pam, pa, pam. You see, I've memorized it. That's what you should do as well with songs. Memorize the melody. Tam, 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 ta, tam. So the first time, we're going to lift the leg to the side and step very strong. So it's tam. The same time, turn your head to the left. Tam. So you have more accent. So it's tam. Now lift the right hand and like there's a wall in front of you. Bam. Hit that wall. And I'll turn this way for the next one. Uh, you can watch Andrea from behind here. We're going to turn the head back to the front and open the hands like this. So we're opening up. So all these are the intro accents still. We haven't gotten with the rhythm part, but because we have accents, those are melodical accents and musicality. So imagine. Dum, 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 da, dum. You're just dancing a basic with such beautiful accents. Why not go bam, 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 and have some fun. So let's repeat that. From the top. Vaca prenda in. Bam, bam, bam. Now, here comes a little toughy. I'm going to break it down a little bit slow. It's a side wave. Boom, like that. You bend down your knees, you protrude your butt to the left, and then when your butt comes back, your upper body goes to the left, and you bring yourself back. Just like a cartoon. Boom, 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 boom. So instead of doing a body wave, like this, we're doing a body wave like this. Because the music there goes ram pam pa bam, ram pam pa bam. Alright? Now your ear might not catch that from the first time, but if you put minus five on the media player, you're gonna hear ram pam pa bam. So you're gonna hear every note that your ear might skip. Okay? So we want to imitate that by going ram pam pa bam and turning the head to the right. Ram pam pam pam. Keep on practicing. Ram pam pam pam. Ram pam pam pam. Ram pam pam pam. Okay. Now the last thing. Grab something in the air, 90 degrees parallel to the ground. So it's gonna go. Ram pam pam. Grab. Ram pam pam. Grab. Just like the head goes to the left and you grab again. All right. Now you're probably wondering, okay Alex, this is a nice movement, but what do they all mean? Once you hear the music, everything will clean up. Now step one out of two. I'm going to put the music, guys, and you're going to hear what I was singing you. Vaca prenda. Pam, pam, ram, pam, pa, pam, ram, pam, pa, pam, pam, pam. That's two extra notes that we haven't learned. I have it here on my media player. Let's hope it doesn't get stuck like the last lesson. Welcome to Cyprus! <laughs> Wait a second, it's stuck. Okay, here we go. Andrea, if you want, you can dance it. But I, guys, now that you're watching, I would prefer that uh, you would just uh, listen to it instead of dance it first. Okay? Mambo. 
And you see, even when he shouts, Mambo, you gotta react to that, you gotta do something. And we have a nice jump in the air with that one. Don't worry, nothing acrobatic. Listen to it one more time now. Acaprenda! If you can do it sitting down, you know you've learned it well. <laughs> okay, now here we go. I'm gonna press play. Uh, you're gonna have some fun with this. You're gonna see me run to my position every time. I have those percussions. So this is minus 25% of the original speed. But again, we're doing it slower, not to become great dancers from one lesson, but to become better dancers from the lesson and apply those things out in our social. And hopefully when this coronavirus personal with each other. I personally miss that a lot. Right, Andrea? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's get out of the sadness of it. Back to the musicality. Let's dance, guys. Get into position, close feet, down with the hands, and... Acaprenda! Let's go again. So you see there it becomes a little bit more rhythmical so you might start finding it more easy because when there's rhythm on the bass to, to keep you in a steady tempo, then it's not so difficult. But for me personally, I prefer the single melodic <laughs> changes. So have you seen what we did the next part? They actually fit perfectly again with the sounds and we're gonna imitate them again with the voice, I start with the count uh, and we will show you the moves. Now this, I'm gonna put a side note, these are not the only ways you can translate this song. If I translate it in a month again, maybe I'll go boom, 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 you know, do whatever. So I'm just giving you suggestions so you can start uh, getting also self-creative to do your own thing. Let's continue. Take it from the top. Five, six, seven. I know I said I won't count. That's for the beginning only. <laughs> and. So first, vaca prenda. Vaca prenda. And. Pam, 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 param, pam, pam, param. Now from this position, guys, your shoulders will go pam, pam, just two. Because everybody's going pam, pam, the whole orchestra, the congas, the bass. So we're giving that accent, pam, pam. Then I hear this beautiful high voice going mambo. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I'm not a singer, right? <laughs> So when he does mambo, we're going to bring our hands in front here. Yes, ladies, too. Like we're going to do a shimmy because we will do afterwards. And we're going to do a jump like this. Mambo. Mambo. <laughs> so from this one, which we remember well. Ram, pam, pa, pam. Ram, pam, pa, pam. Pam, pam. Jump. Mambo. And have the hands in front of you. Here we're going to do back and front. Make sure when you come front, you give it some boom accent. So if the musician gives power, your body should give power at that moment. There, it's a little percussive going do 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 doom doom. To make it easy, just do two shimmies while you go back. You can do four if you're fast enough. One, two, three, four, up. Or one, two, three, boom. Nothing hard. You're still gonna imitate by one note the same thing. So I'll do it from the side actually. When we go boom, boom, and then we jump to mambo. Do, 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 doom, doom. And straighten yourself to start to go into a lace. Okay, one more time from uh, this one. First, second one, ta. Shoulders, shoulders, hands and jump. Shimmy from. Yeah, from the top now. And vaga prenda. And pam, 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 pra, pam, 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 
One more. Da 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 da. Right? One more time. I'm gonna keep it a little bit faster now so we can catch up with music. Here we go. And Vaga Brenda. Pam 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 pa pam. Pam pam pa pam 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 mambo tu gu tu tum tum ram pam 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 da da da. So it's like a pattern, you know. One two three, one two one two three, and there's a pause in between those patterns, and you gotta visualize them in patterns and try to work with that. Okay, now let's do with music only up to the part where we jump, we shimmy, and we confront because we. I did, we did dance this, but we didn't explain it, okay? Here we go, we're gonna do two times with music, so we can hopefully progress. Uh, I would love to show the whole thing. And you see this stupid look on my face because my media player always gets stuck. I have no idea why. <laughs> Come on, wake up! All right, we are ready? Hope it's gonna play. <laughs> go. Acaprenda! Let's go once again. Get ready into your position, and that's how we learn to do musicality, guys. We memorize, and as years pass by, we have songs that we know note for note. We don't even have to have them playing. We can remember them and choreograph them without the music. Okay, let's get going. Acaprenda. As I said in the beginning, I'm gonna start a little bit slow because it's the idea of fusing not one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. I do have some of them uh, towards the end that we're gonna be doing rhythmically, so that's gonna be much faster to uh, pick up and explain. So now we're gonna start pick up the pace. Okay, here we go. From here, we're gonna cross after two, 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 tum, tum. If you like to bend down a little bit too, just to give it an emphasis, the ladies also can stay up, doesn't matter. I like to really hit that music because there is three together, then there's two with a pause between the three and the two, and then there's three fast ones. So it goes bam, bam, pause, bam, bam. Now here we're gonna go one, two, three. And let's go again. One, two, three. And notice I'm not going one, two, three. I'm going one, two, three, putting that body weight. If you like for styling, you can shake the hand or you can point or whatever you like. I just like keeping it here because the attention goes to the leg. So here's our first melody. Pam, 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 pam. That's how you need to memorize it in your mind. And don't say no. You all have a favorite song that you can sing by heart, even if it's not salsa. And you don't need to play it and you just sing it in the shower. You know it. <laughs> so you can memorize simple melodies. Let's go. Bam, 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 bam. Now the trumpet goes. Ba, ra, 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 ra. Ram, bam, 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 bam. And then it goes again. Ba, ra, 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 ra. So we gotta translate that sexiness as well. So from here, we gotta go diagonally. Ba ra 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 ra. What happens there? I bend my hip and I stick out my leg and bring it back and then bend the other one. So we go like ra ra. You see the up and down a little bit too? Alright? So ra 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 ra. And you have the right foot ready. For the hands, you can do the same, but I prefer opposites. Ra, ra, okay? So let's try to connect it from here, because here it's not like, it's like a diagonal lace. 
ra, 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 ra. We have to jump onto the time. Okay, one, two, three. Ra, 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 ra. And you see we're on a diagonal. Now here comes the fun part. We have bum, 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 bum. So we're jumping up, back, and switch. Let's come closer and jump, back, and switch. Up to there. From one, two, three. Da, 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 da. Ram, pam, pam. Now we have two left. Pam, pam. We're going to straighten out. Make sure you're on the ball of your feet because you want to bounce again with cross to the right. Up to here, okay? We don't have to finish the whole choreography and even if we don't, we're going to dance the whole choreography at the end for you so you can have it. So don't worry about the details so much. Don't worry about having a perfect posture. Just worry about one thing. Do it to the melody. Even if you do ra ra, it still fits. You don't have to be huge. That's for more for a show. So your challenge here today is not to fix the body, it's just to learn new different moves and try to apply them as softly and as correct as possible on the melon. Where's my head? Oh, I just realized I was talking to you without my head. Sorry, guys. You decapitated me. All right. So that's how far we're going. So we continue from the new stuff. We went back and from. Ram, pam, 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 ta, ta, ta. Ra, 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 ra. Ram, pam, pam, ram, pam. Again, the last one, of course, yes? Jump and bring it behind your knee. Jump and bring it back. Switch, bring them next to you. Bring them here. Of course, when you do them slow, you feel a little bit silly. <laughs> but this is from a break dancing dance. They actually use them on the hip hop. And salsa is salsa, fusion. <laughs> Because it's salsa, you put, we have lambada, we have tango inside, no matter what style, or one or two, whatever you dance, the lambada dips. That's where we got them from, the tango positions and dips. So we should do the same thing to our body. If you have a background of other dance, don't let those years go to waste. Put them into your salsa style. All right, let's go again for the jump. Pa, pa, pa. Ba, ba. You're really going to feel so nice when you hit those notes. All right, from the beginning, slowly, but not too slow. I think we, you can see us. Yes? Okay, cool. Let's go. Vagabrenda. And. Pa, 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 Ta ta boom boom boom, ra 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 ra, pa 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 pa. And make sure you have bent knees because the next one is gonna be ra 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 ra. <laughs> I know it looks difficult, but it's not, guys. You're gonna have a lot of fun with it. But again, it's another way of imitating ra 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 ra. You can't imitate it with sharp movements. There's dots and lines. Tagado and legado. So the sharp movements are usually small, the sharp notes, and the one that have ta, a tail as I call it, you have to do something like a wave or an opening. Okay, so now let's go with music all the way there. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll do it a few times. We have just halfway through the lesson now and we've done very good work. And of course you can see this video again, guys. Let's go. Aprenda! to apologize from now if I manage to change your brain chemistry into focusing uh, from rhythm after so many years into melody it's something that cannot be undone I'm sorry <laughs> let's do it <laughs>
How was the second time? Better, yeah? And we got the jumps right. You can practice them a little bit more. Woo! Running out of breath and talking at the same time. You gotta love this job. <laughs> now, we're gonna continue. And these next parts, uh, as you notice, I usually don't choose songs that have uh, a repetition of melody. Da 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 da. Ram pam 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 pam. Ra 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 ra. Ram pam pam. Because that means I have to translate the same melody in a different move. But I took this challenge to keep more uh, repetitive melodies and not give you 30 melodies in one lesson. So we have about five of them in this one. Okay? So you can really hone your abilities with a simpler song, even if it's one of the top, it's still a simple song. And if you hear, let's say, uh, some of them that they play on the Maripa or the Timbales from Tito Puente, those are complicated things to choreograph. We're talking about fractions of a second. But this is quite good. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Let's continue on. Okay, now from the cross, after we did the jump, 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 and cross, what you have is bent knees. Try to move your butt one, two, one, two, like that. Okay, now when you're in cross and bent knees, you're going to stick your butt out if there's a clock 12 in front of you, 3, 6, and a little bit at 7. That's where you stick your butt out, at 7. Because if you stick it anywhere else, you're not going to be able to do it exactly. So you go one circle, second circle. And you've turned actually three quarters. You, if the mirror is this way, you're turned three quarters. Then you do a body wave and a body wave. Okay? Oh, sorry, you're in bent knees. You do a body wave up, body wave down. Am I correct? Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Sorry, guys. But again, if it's a whole team, it's going to show. Here, it's just for fun and learning. Now, I'm stuck. Where do we take it from? Yeah, bro. All right. And we go. Ra, da, 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 da. Because the knees are already bent. And then we have that accent that we did. Ra, pam, 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 pam. But we're going to change it and take force before it and go ram pam 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 So it's ram pam pam forward back forward 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 ram pam 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 Let's make it a little bit more difficult Turn your head and progress in that direction ram pam pam And so you're walking on the first three and ram pam pam shoulder shoulder Again, from here, body wave, body wave, and then you can go pa, 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 ra, pa. Lean back your body because there's a little anti gap, seven, eight, seven, eight, and ra, 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 ra. And now we're gonna do ra, oh, sorry, in first, yes, ra, ra. Just like the move we did before. But we're going to start off with the right and the left because that's going to help us to go to the next one, which is the Suzy Q. Okay, let's take it from all the way here. Ra, 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 ra. Ra, pam, 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 eh. Ra, 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 ra. I don't know if you can see the steps, they're not very difficult here. Would you start with your left? As you lean back, and you go one, two, three, and as you close the four, bam, you start here. Now the second one, guys, when you do this, make sure you come back very fast. So you're gonna go ra ra in. Why? You're gonna see after we're gonna do it with music again up to here, but you're gonna see that we have to be eight here at least, so we can start the next part which is going to be very fun because they're dance, we're going to dance them like shines into the rhythm, but they still fit with the melody. Those are the little gems that we all love. <laughs> when they have the rhythm and the melody uh, coinsic, uh, coexisting together in harmony. Okay, last time from the new ones. And ra 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 pam 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 ay. ra 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 Bravo, that A, we gotta turn here. Okay, everybody, are we ready to go with music from the top? We're gonna have to work it at least two times each time we put music. And again, if you want the music, DM me, I'll send it to you. I've actually fused the song myself 
with the ending. <laughs> I hope we get to it. We will. We have time. Sorry, I, you know, when I'm yapping, that's mean I'm trying to unstuck my media player. Okay, I shut up. <laughs> Okay, so that's perfect. Let's do it again. If at the first shot you didn't got everything, that's perfectly normal. I say give yourself at least three chances before you judge yourself. Because even professional dancers can't pick it up from the first time. Maybe they can, but there's still going to be some mistakes. So give yourself a second, a third chance, and then tell yourself off. <laughs> Don't be so hasty to judge yourself. Let's continue. From the top. we're just gonna fly right through them because they're more rhythmic okay so melody it's very chaotic the patterns it could be three two 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 one long line short line I mean that's why Santana when he plays in front of an audience everybody behind them the orchestra plays the rhythm they're the ones getting 40 50 thousand in the show very good Santana is the lead he's the one that's getting the millions each song and I wanted to get that clarified because when you go out salsa dancing on where you practice at home now that we have this stupid COVID you still want to be thinking about each song that has a different melody don't think all of them is one two three five six seven they all start different they have similarities because they have structure similar but because you know that structure songs that you don't even know you might know when to stop when to start and how to play with them if you give enough uh, cognitive attention that means no distractions just listen to the music and imagine yourself what movements fit to that what you are listening because learning to listen in this lesson I think I just got you over it but now you're like what the hell this do I listen how do I translate it you have all your body all your footwork heads hands and these are some examples you can do another choreography with this music and just download it from me and you see you can do a lot of things. All right, now let's have some fun with the repetitive Susie cues. Uh, when we finish right here, very fast after the boom, sorry, this way, that way, that way, and we turn, we're gonna do a Susie cue. Drop down three. Of course, we're not counting it again because it goes a ba ba da ba da. Ba 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 ba. A ba ba da ba da. Ba. There is kick 90 degrees. You don't have to kick up there, even here if you're comfortable. Put one hand here, ba, and you're trying to hit with the tip of your uh, foot when you hear da 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 Did you hear that pause? So don't be in a hurry on that one. So here we go. Now we do exactly the same. But now we turn diagonally. We open both knees by lifting our heels and pushing, thrusting with our bum bum. And we also do the hands pushing out. This is known in Afro Rumba as the. 
Babu now and you give it to me. You're supposed to defend yourself, woman. <laughs> Anyways, so when we finish the side the second time around, instead of doing up, para 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 pa 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 para 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 pa, and we're gonna do that. Okay, let's do both of them together. And para 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 pa 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 low. Para para. Did I show the hands here? They just go out and in, out and in when you do a side. It's a little imitation of doing a rumba, a little bit more modernized. First kick, repeat to the cue and drop, repeat to the cue, don't drop, drop now, and bagu now, boom. Very good, next part, we have cross three and touch. Okay, so pow, here we go, one, two, on third, you touch like the floor is burning, and you go backwards, 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 Step to the side. Means like that. Come every morning. We might lose a little bit the focus. One going more there, more there. That's why there's two of us. So you can see somebody's more to the edge. Okay, so we finish from Badu now. And straight up, straight like the mambo. One and a two and a touch. One and a two, three and out. If you think about it, it's the same melody. A ba ba ra ba ra ba 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 ba. Now here we gotta do shoulders. A ba ba ra ba ra. Put your head behind your head. Pump up your butt. Pow. <laughs> so you're da. Pow. From this side. A ba ba ra ba ra ba 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 ba. A ba ba ra ba ra ba. Really, nobody expects that on that. <laughs> it's like, what are they going to do for another one? Okay, and there is one more repetition again of this melody. So that's why I chose this song, because the melodies are repetitive. If you want to choreography like this, it's the easiest ones. If you get one that has about 40 melodies in a song, it's very difficult to choreograph and remember all of them. It's about four and a half thousand notes. Okay, here we're learning about 80. <laughs> okay, don't get scared. So, bago now, and a ba pa ra pa ra pa 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 a pa pa ra pa ra pa. Now here we're going to the left. Let's get some space. We're going ra pa da pa ra pa da. The trick is when you take the step, bend into it so it can lift you into a cha cha, lift you into a cha cha. Now the hands they close, they open. They close, they open. So from the moment you've done this, you're going to bring your hands in and open on the tap. In and open on the tap. In. This is the fourth time you're going to cross your foot and place your hands behind your back. You can place them up here, whatever it feels more comfortable. But I think here it's quite nice to do a 360 turn. Okay, so what we have so far, Oh, sorry, after the 360 turn, so we finished exactly the sentence, drop. That's the last one. The drop has to be like, there's a, there's a fly going around, you're like, get that thing away from me. That's the only way you get a nice power. Don't drop like that. Hit that accent. I hope it's coordinated because musicality is very important to have coordination music with, uh, sorry, audio with video. All right. So let's take all of these melodies starting from the Suzy Q. And a ra pa ra pa ra pa 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 a pa pa ra pa ra k. Eh, a ra pa ra pa ra pa 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 a pa pa ra pa ra e forward. A pa pa ra pa ra pa 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 a pa pa ra pa ra pa. Close the hands. A pa pa ra pa ra pa 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 a pa pa ra pa ra pa. You see what happens there? That pause. A ra pa ra pa ra. We turn pa and we hit the accent because there's always a pause there. And right now it's finished. It doesn't repeat so much. Not the choreography because now I have the best parts for you. We're gonna put Afro rumba. Oh my God! I have only 15 minutes. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to dance it with music up to there and then I'll just 
pass through softly the rest ones. I think you might know some of them, so we might get there faster. Okay? <laughs> All right, musica from the beginning, guys. Relax, I know it's tiring doing the choreography over and over, but welcome to the world of dancing. <laughs> Here we go. Just talking until the media player gets unstuck. Here we go. <laughs> All the rest is rumbero. It just fits so much and a little bit of course reggaeton because that's the music. That's the little fusion I'm talking about. All right, we'll do one more time until the part that we've learned and then I'll take five, six minutes to explain those combinations at the end. All right? Don't worry if you don't pick them up completely. You still have the video afterwards and learn it. Ha, I love moving. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, those are really fun sounds, yes? So we have about 15 minutes. Let's go through them. So we just finished dropping the hands. And here we just go one, two, three. Basically the shoulders are moving down and you one by three, one, two, three, to fall almost to an anti-degree position. Of course, this is not the best position in the world. <laughs> But it looks nice because afterwards you just pump up when the reggaeton starts, okay? So that's what we're getting at. So you drop and you go one, two, three, and go da 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 We're not progressing forward so we don't get too far away from the camera. Now the arms. Pretend like you're holding here like this. Let me show. You see my thumb is sticking out. It's not punches. When you do this with punches, it looks really rough. So imagine you're holding two ropes that you're playing like this, and then move your elbows around like this. Ooh-hoo, ooh-hoo, okay. Stop making fun of me. That's how we teach. Okay, da 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 So, one, two, three. You open both hands up and you go, ow, mommy. Whip it, whip it, whip it around. Get that thing in your head because the next one is more difficult. So. Down, 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 down. So we do two of them with the whip, whip, and down, down, down. 
back out. Un pagado. Now watch. To the out, to the in. To the out, to the in. This reminds you a little bit of, you know, Afrolumba to the gods. What happens there, the hands are turning out and down. Out and down. Out and down. Now I'm not going to do down, just the hands. Open them up. This is not the easiest one to get from the internet, I know, but I'm going to repeat it as much as I feel comfortable. <laughs> so, on the first step, you go open, drop, open, drop. Then we're going to go step, kick, step, kick, step, kick. Here, the hands, they're going to go step, kick, step, kick, step, kick. So we're moving backwards, and we have that little uh. Ah, I went too far away, sorry. <laughs> okay, so from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go forward, punch to the front, and lift and turn your shoulders. Punch to the front, and lift and turn your shoulder by putting it here. So it's boom, pa, boom, pa. The last one is straight, behind the ear, or next to the ear, straight behind the ear. If you see them together, after we go here, and here, and here, we're going punch, shoulder, punch. Now no shoulders, and only this. Pa, bra. That's our afro rumba part, basically. Uh, it's just very small, it fits with the reggaeton. Let's do it again. Drop, drop, drop. Whip, 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 whip. Reverse and down. Reverse and down. Rumba, kick, 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 and down, shoulder, down, shoulder, ear, ear, and now we go here to the left. This is walking like that, okay? But because it's more funky, we're going to do the circle instead of the pachanga for you. You know, huh, huh. Put that hip into it. Now that is exactly one eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, take it again from the drop down. Boom, boom, boom. Let's say this is the ending of the song, yeah? Tam, ta, da, da. Tam, ta, da, da. Tam, ta, da, da. Tam, ta, da, da. One, two, three, four, six, and go. Up, up, one, up. Two, ear, two, ear. One, two, three, only four. Now we're gonna go to the right, only two, but one, two. Using the bachanga like you're shooting a ball. And also bring up your hands if you like. Up and up. Okay? Let's go again. Ram, pam, pam. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Out and down, out and down. One, two, three, four, and punch, shoulder, punch, shoulder, straight, ear, ear. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now, dum, 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 dum. Come to the front. Dum, 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 dum. That's it, up to here. The rest part has just a little clave that we're going to show at the end of the last three minutes because we still have more than 10 minutes. So what we're going to do, we did it like four or five times the new part with the Afro Rumba. So it's not fast. This song is actually minus 25%. I'll send you all three versions. There's a little bit faster and there is also the real fast song. Now you say, how are you ever going to be able to do all the movements and make them full, clean, not halfway through? That's what you do. Slow, slow, slow. And when your body is ready and your muscle is ready, go for faster, but not the original. Then slow, slow, slow with the faster until you go to the original when your body is ready. All right, let's go with the music. Again, technique is not so much of an issue as hitting the accents. Let's go. Acaprenda! Thank you. 
Igual al vikingo rapeando con fromo en la tina Okay, I think we should do it one more time until there, and then I'll just break down. Or better yet, because we have only six minutes, I'll show you the clave. It's a two-three clave. So that means we have to start with pa 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 pa. So right when you come here, after this and shake, you're gonna go left right. Pa pa. Then the triple. Pa pa. Pa, a little bit diagonal, so it's separate. So left, right for the two, left, back, and diagonally for the three hits. And you go, you can go left to right, but I think, where we start? Left first. Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Are you so sure? Mm -hmm. She's sure! <laughs> and pa, 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 pa. One more time. Pa, 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 pa. Right when you hear the third one finishing, walk like a duck. But at the same time, close in your step and sink into the floor. You see, like that. And as you come up, you stay facing that way. You start shimmy, 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 and just drop the hands. And at the same time you drop the hands, you lift up your heel to your toe. I call it the dead puppet. Mm hmm. <laughs> all right. So we finish all this. Ta da, ta da, ta da. The pachanga hit. Ta, 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 the last part. You have to wait for it and listen to the music. Pa, 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 pa. Ra, ri, ra, ri, ra. Boom. And it finishes right there. Okay. Now, now, I know I have only five minutes, but I'll try to dance the whole choreography for you guys to have it at the end and then tell you my goodbyes. Yeah, I hope uh, I wasn't too fast. At the end, I know I went faster. It's because I have so much that I want to give and I really wanted to give the whole choreography. And just dancing it to the end without explaining it a little bit will feel awful. Okay, so let's go dance the whole thing all the way to the end. <laughs> Yay! I'm so happy that we brought it to through and through and I got to explain my message also now it says 55 minutes live but unfortunately I don't want to have the next teacher waiting there's only two minutes left so I would like to say thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I opened your ears somehow and changed the way you hear. Thank you very much. Bye, bye. bye.